What's up my friends and my new friends, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about everything about the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 trailer. So we're going to be breaking it down and talking about it in depth and analyzing everything. But before we get started on the video, I just want to let you guys know that later on today I will have my... Uh, Dragon Ball Super episode 50 review out so make sure you check that out also I have to read this comment for you guys this happened on uh, one of my recent videos my massive overload reaction video everything in that video was completely real all of my reactions are 100% authentic unlike a lot of reaction channels out there so um, I, I gotta read this comment for you guys <laughs> so I posted and said I just got back from the hospital and they said I had a bruised shoulder. Now that was true, okay? <laughs> but this guy <laughs> comes out of nowhere and says, you have hairy legs. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> well, yeah, I've got hairy legs. <laughs> so I commented back and said, why, thank you, Potato Man. Thank you very much. Do you prefer hairy or shaved? <laughs> he said, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I don't know, I just found that kind of funny. That that I would post something traumatic and somebody would just completely comment something off topic. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and talk about the video. We're like a minute 30 here and you guys are probably like, Talk about Xenoverse 2! What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. No, like, no hairy legs and shit and going to the hospital. Well, you know, like, I, I, I want to let you guys know that I'm okay and I'm not dead, you know, when I'm making these videos. So, it's really important that I keep you guys up to date. Ah, <sighs> let's do it. We are going back to the past to end Frieza and his companions, including Zarbon, Dory, and the Ginyu Force, following with many others. Although Broly appears and he is marked with some kind of infinity symbol, so is he possessed and controlled by someone? Now we do know that Toa and Mira have returned, but Mira, it, it, we don't know if he's in his physical form. You know, there was just like a small segment of him left at the end of Xenoverse 1 when Toa picked him up. Toa and Mira have returned, most definitely Toa, but it's not confirmed with Mira. And they are the villains behind the alteration of the time traveling events occurring in Xenoverse 2. Broly isn't the only one returning that has been marked with the infinity symbol. We also have Janamba who is marked with the symbol. Although if Mira and Toa aren't the main antagonists in Xenoverse 2 and aren't behind the mind control, who is? Perhaps maybe Demigur has siblings like I asked the producer Masayuki Hirano. Uh, during an interview uh, regarding Xenoverse 2 with Rhyme Style and Afro Senju and Living Ichigo, I asked him that question at the end of the interview at E3. I was like, does Demigra have siblings? <laughs> he didn't want to answer that. So maybe Demigra does have siblings. Xenoverse 2 will feature multiple races, including a human race that will have a base of operations in a location called Cotton City on Earth, which will allow you to teleport to other base of operations that include the other races featuring a Frieza, Majin Buu, Saiyan, Namekian race. You can also ride on hoverboards throughout the city and race friends, which is pretty cool. So I think now it's going to be an option where you can actually invite friends to your online lobby, the lobby that you're in, and they'll be able to play with you and run around with you in that lobby. I think that would be pretty cool. But, you know, it's a little bit unclear. All of the different custom character races will be eligible to teleport to the different worlds. Now, from what we see, you can do poses with Captain Ginyu. So maybe he is going to be tr like a, a trainer again or like a sensei like he was in the previous Xenoverse. That, and he'll be able to teach you like new abilities or he'll give you missions to go on throughout the planet where Frieza's ship is. Now through Xenoverse 1 we discovered that a lot of these characters who were trainers, masters, senseis, you know, they gave you missions to do throughout their little uh, training session which also unlocked items for your character. Also, when your character is charging his key, 
There's debris flying around, elevating from off of the ground, so it's really cool for Dimps to add this feature into the game. As for abilities and skill usage, you can use two different ultimates, an evasive skill and a transformation along with four super attacks. The current time limit of each match is three minutes and your character will have a lot, a lot more health than the previous game in Xenoverse 1. But of course, if you spend your attribute points and import, input them towards health, you'll have more health than your opponent. Let's talk a little about transformations here. You can finally transform from Super Saiyan 1 to 3. The more you build up your key, the more you are eligible for transformation. So now there aren't particular attack drops for transformations unless there is something for a Super Saiyan God or a Super Saiyan Blue transformation that can be unlocked through maybe like a parallel quest purchased from the store or obtained through a story quest. A lot of people complained about this in Xenoverse 1, and now it's finally fixed. Also, rip unlimited key spam. Spamming your ultimates or supers, that is no longer an option, fortunately and unfortunately. You know, like, I sure as hell am going to miss it, and, you know, looks like now we finally have more builds based around fighting characters. So we're going to definitely see more fighting character builds in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and less key spammers. Although, when you transform, your key goes down and you will eventually lose your transformation. You can replenish your key by either powering up. There is also a brief spam option, but only when you're Super Saiyan and your key does deplete when you're a Super Saiyan, so I don't think you can power up your character during a transformation. I will point out that you can transform Goku from Super Saiyan 1 to 3, but as for Boo, Cell, and Frieza transformations, it's totally unclear. And you can also transform your uh, custom character to Super Saiyan 3, so that is really freaking awesome. Apparently, the way enemies will now be buffed into the evil presence that we saw in Xenoverse 2 will now be triggered through the fruit of the gods from Dragon Ball Z, the Tree of Might movie. The fruit is devoured by both Slug and Turles during the trailer and they are granted extraordinary amounts of power. Perhaps this will be a similar case with future antagonists throughout the story. Perhaps there will also be an option to equip and eat the fruit during PvP battles or parallel quests for a custom character boost. Within your primary base of operations, you will have a similar citadel that resembles the one where the Supreme Kai of Time lived, where you had the option to reselect story quests. In this specific citadel, you will have missions that are given to you by the Supreme Kai of Time, Toki Toki, Future Trunks, and Old Kai combined. If this citadel isn't the new hub, Will there be an option to go back to Toki Toki City, which means multiple hubs? Just like the previous game, your characters will pick up the scroll and travel through time to restore the altered events. So Xenoverse 1 is a lot like Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse 2 is a lot like Xenoverse 1, but a lot has changed in Xenoverse 2. They're definitely making it more like based around, like mixed in with Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and Xenoverse, because with Budokai, one, it wasn't so great, but with Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3, it was just off of the charts. 3 was the best one, so I'm kind of curious, what if they make a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, and it resembles around Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 and 2, except you're going to have all of the characters from both of the games combined, and the third game on top of that. Playable characters during this demo included the following characters, Cooler, Janamba, Goku, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Kid Buu, Future Trunks, Gogeta, GT, Kid Goku, Dodoria, Zarbon, Turles, Gogeta, Lord Slug, and your very own Time Patroller. We also have various stages that were available to choose from, including Planet Namek, Volcanic Namek, Janamba's World, the Cell Games Tournament Arena, and Super Supreme Kai's world. 
There will also be ultimate attacks, super attacks, and Z souls, which are now known as super souls. Regarding further information about these mentioned topics, I will totally talk about them in upcoming videos. Your custom character finally has the ability to transform all of these characters in general. Like, well, not like everybody, everybody, but your custom character. I think whether, like, I don't think it matters, like, if he's a sand race, if he's a Namekian race, if he's a human race, if he's a boo race. Maybe it's going to be more based around a sand race and a human race that he's going to be able to transform into a Super Saiyan. But not just your custom character. You've also got Saiyans like Goku and Vegeta and Gohan that are going to be able to go from Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan 2 to Super Saiyan 3. You know, it's just going to be completely mind-blowing. Lastly, from the looks of it, Xenoverse 2 is definitely more fixated and focused on featuring more of the movie characters, but what about GT characters and Dragon Ball characters? You know, I'll definitely be talking more about this topic in a future video to come, so subscribe, turn mobile notifications on by clicking the bell icon at the homepage to receive every new upload notification for the channel, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with all of the drama in my life, including reality, Dragon Ball, gaming, and YouTube. Also follow me on Google+. As for Twitter, I tweet on the like on there almost every single day so if you guys would like to hit me up on there i'll be more than happy to interact with you guys and we can chat about anything you want we could even play xenoverse 2 together when the game comes out so the game has an official official release date finally it is october 25th so it looks like i might be postponing videos for titanfall 2 and battlefield 1 just to play Xenoverse 2 full time, so we will definitely be playing it sooner than expected. I'll have to reschedule and figure something out for Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1, but we're definitely going to be on that Xenoverse 2 for like the majority of the fall. So hell yeah guys, this is going to be awesome. So let me know what you guys thought of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse, Dragon Ball Super videos. I hope you guys had a great day. Please keep living life to its fullest. Every single day live positive and enjoy life. Peace.